is my autism birthday. So let me explain. It has been a year since I got diagnosed, which is why it's my autism birthday. Because obviously I've always been autistic. But autism anniversary just doesn't sound as exciting. So we're going with autism birthday. I know this might be a bit of a weird thing and people might be like, why? What? What do you mean? But it's exciting. I was waiting. I know I'm not gonna have to do it, like explain it to a lot of you, but I was waiting such, such a long time for my diagnosis. Like it literally took five years. So when it finally came, <laughs> we're gonna celebrate it. And also being diagnosed has took a lot away from me. I can't move to certain countries. I will get trapped by the government differently. I unfortunately might never be able to adopt children if I wanted to do that. I, the government just randomly puts DNRs on autistic people's uh, NHS profiles sometimes. So if I can have a little bit of joy, I'm gonna do that. So we're celebrating my autism birthday. We're not doing anything too, like, I don't know, big. We have just got up this morning. It is half 10 now. Jack's had breakfast. We woke Oakley up. Oakley is currently having these breakfast and Jack's winding him up. So if you hear him barking, that's what that is. I opened some presents. <laughs> Jack bought me some presents, just small things. I'll show you when we go down. But right now I'm just getting ready. I, we're going into town. I have an appointment at 12. I got a voucher for, let me bring you over so I can, see, so I can get ready whilst I'm going. I got a voucher for Moth Metal for Christmas, which is a piercing shop in Newcastle. And she does ear curation appointments which I'm excited for. So that's what I'm going for today. The basic premise is we're just gonna plan what I wanna do with my ear piercings because currently I have my expander in and I have one piercing up here. I don't even know what you'd call it because like it's in such a random position. It's where I wanted it, but it's in such a random position. The other ear, I don't have an expander in currently, but they are both expanded. Like this one was expanded up to a 10 and this one was expanded up to a six when I was like, 13 and I've had my seconds done before but I'm pretty confident they're closed up and I would like a pretty ear so we're gonna go in and plan that today I'm also hoping that she's gonna be able to help me with figuring out what color I am because I don't know if I suit silver or gold so I'm hoping she's gonna help me decide that because I'd like to commit to a color or I'd like to commit to both but I'd like to know what I suit so it helps me inform my decision then we're just gonna mill about town uh, I think we're heading to Waterstones, not sure what else we're going to do, but then we are meeting with friends at half five for some food. So that is the current plan. I am just getting ready and then we're going to head off, take Oakley to my grandparents and then head off into town. I am ready. I am going to put my hair up in a claw clip probably because I like my hair air dry so it's gone all poofy. But this is the fit. I, uh, if Jack can show you. Pretty much the only thing I'm wearing at the minute because yeah. it's the only thing that fits me. Are you Oakley's fit? <laughs> Oakley's fit. Hey, baby. Got a great collar. You're <laughs> looking handsome. And then your fit. Stand up. Go on, show off. You look so freaking good. This new Vanquish top. I adore it. Yeah. Looks so good. I'm a bit worried I'm going to overheat because it's a bit hot. But this is, uh, I've only got two outfits that fits me. And this one, it's a bit thick. And I'm going to take my jacket, but I don't think I'll need it. And the other one, my jeans don't fit me really. So then that, I get overwhelmed with that. But we're just gonna go with this. Jack's convinced me. So I was gonna show them your presents you got me. He got me this, which it looks a bit like, I don't know. Kitty. Kitty, yeah, it looks a bit kitty, but. I'm trying to... You might have to put your face behind it to get a cut like to the colors. Look at it. So I'm gonna be um, indisposed watching that when I'm working. Then he got me, oh, in there. <laughs> There's a theme to all of them. <laughs> this, which is a fidget. I don't, I can't, I don't know how to show you. It's like, there we go. And you can just flick it in and out. It'll just come apart, but it's not meant to. It's just designed for fidgeting. I'm gonna take that today. And then you got me a bag full of tangles because the tangle that I've got is a bit naff and just completely falls apart. But then it does go back on but it literally will just fall off. So, got me a bag full of tangles. Is that 
this vibe, is there? I think so. All very multicolored, but they were my presents for my awesome birthday. I'm very, very grateful. But we're heading off now. We're gonna go drop Oakley off. We were gonna get food. I don't think we're gonna have time. Because mm. my appointment's at 12, and it's quarter past 11. And we're gonna go to Pegswood, then get parked, then get a moth mill. We'll see, but that's what's occurring. Yeah. Are you excited for the day? Yeah. Yeah? It's gonna be good, it's a nice day, which I'm very, very pleased about because the weather really, really dictates my mood. So, yeah. very, very happy that it's a nice day. I mean, yesterday was just cloudy, wasn't it? It was so, cloudy, it was awful. Yeah. But it keeps, because we're in, I, I think this is going up a week later. So we're still in that week where the weather's really nice, but up north, <laughs> nice. <laughs> so it's really, really nice that we've got a nice day. But yeah, we're gonna get, Going. I am heading down now. Jack's parking the car because we got stuck behind a funeral procession, so we weren't able to get in on time. So he's parking the car whilst I head down. I think I might be able to get some footage because Shireen was really good with it last time. It's the same place, if you're a subscriber, it's the same place that I went to get my septum done and I got a film then. So I'm hoping I can get some footage. But beautiful Newcastle. It's a lot more hazy here than it was at home, but still beautiful. done I'm very happy with how it went very pretty ears uh, we haven't had lunch or anything so we're gonna go up to Grinch Market and try and get a pizza slice showing it they're gonna have to wait till the waterstones hall because it's fucking beautiful it wasn't even a doubt in my mind as to whether i was buying it you're gonna have to figure out whether you're putting that book face and forward i don't have no idea what i'm gonna do it'd be like the only book face in nowhere i know but it's so pretty the cover is beautiful hence why i picked it up and then the side is beautiful so like the, the front the, side like the, like the pages the pages are beautiful like this bit, but not that boot. Yeah, like it, like. We're all finally done. We've been here for about an hour. Looking at books. And uh, buying about ten. Yeah. So, hey, it's my birthday. Eleven. It was eleven. <sighs> and I may or may not have bought one from Amazon as well because Waterstones yeah, so doesn't seem to buy it. I'm um, stock it. So it's twelve. Twelve. Twelve books. Three of them are mine. Let's More of them are yours, Jack. More of them are yours. Oh, I am. <laughs> I put my lemonade in my bottle with this top. I know loads of you already know where this is going. <laughs> with this top. Carrying it around and then we're in a section of the bookshop that's like a tiny little corner. Books all around with Books on the table. Books everywhere. And I decided to take a drink. <laughs> just <'cause laughs> went everywhere. Is yours? Towards my top. No, it's oh, it's, sta it's not stained. You're all right. Went everywhere. Didn't go on any books though, so we're all good. We're chilling in the middle of Elden Square because our feet are hurting. We ended up in Waterstones a little while longer because one of the lovely sales assistants told us about a Discord group because I said I did YouTube and she was like, "Oh, you should join this Northeast Reading Discord group." 
because there's a lot of booktubers and like book tiktokers in there so you should join it and then we just couldn't get it working we left thinking that we had but then when jacks went on his discord it hasn't worked so we were in there for a while then we went to damage society and had a look at clothes for a little while and i had a closing down sale so I had a look but we didn't get anything there were, i wanted some band tees there were some band tees for like 10 quid and i was like amazing but i didn't really really want one and then all of them were in a size small it's not going to be any good for me. Ellie and Tom, who is our friends we are meeting tonight, they've asked if we can meet a little bit earlier because they're in town. So we're meeting them in like 10 minutes. So we're just waiting to hear from them as to where we are meeting. Uh, so we're just having a little bit of a rest before we meet up with them. We don't have a reservation until half five. We're going to Cafe Andalus. I don't know how you say that. It's, it, it's Spanish. So I don't know. was it? Andalus, it's like Andaluz. I don't know. If anyone's going to know, it's probably going to be me, seeing as though I'm learning Spanish. Yeah. But not like in the world, I meant out of me and Jack. <laughs> but we're going there because it's nice and quiet, apparently, because obviously I'm autistic and everyone on a Friday night is going to be really freaking loud. So we're going there at half five. I don't know what we're going to do until then. I don't know if I'm going to be able to film them at all because I don't think they're a fan of like yeah. social media. I don't, know how, I don't know how to phrase that. And obviously I don't want to force them on the vlog. So we'll see if we can get some cute footage. It turns out Ellie changed the reservation. So we're actually heading to the restaurant now. We popped into Next and looked at the uh, autumn stuff that's in and oh my freaking God, what is it like? It's so cute. Absolutely adorable. I was in love with it. I want all of it. They've got such a cute selection. And that was a small home section from Next yeah, as well, wasn't it? Yeah. I bet there's more other places. Yeah. But that croquet pot, is that what it's called? Croquet pot? Uh, I don't know. No, croquet's a game. Oh, I don't know what it's called. But like that little cooking yeah. pot thing. Yeah. We've wanted that for years. We've wanted it for years. Um, I think it's but it's 40 it, quid. No, it was the, um, it was the biscuit biscuit thing we wanted. Was it? Because it it we taller. had one of them. No, we, we, well, we got that from the, from home bargain, so. Yeah. Yeah, it was I a, thought it was that. It was like a cookie jar. Right. I could have swore it was that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we haven't bought anything, but it has some cute stuff in. We're heading to the restaurant now. So, see if we can get any, any cute videos. Sesame flavor. Delightful. Specified. Look at that. I can't, I literally that just saw this on TikTok. It's a plastic. That looks so bad. Don't need the plastic. Yeah, I think that box. Is that box? I think it's sugar. It's just sugar. Eat it and find out. It's gonna be crunchy. Oh. It's so cold. <laughs> Is it too cold to eat? Oh, what? You've heard of too hot to handle. Get ready for too cold to eat. <laughs> and? Right. Yeah? Do you think Jack, I'd hate this it? This is definitely plastic. <laughs> <laughs> this is plastic, Jack. You ate plastic. How are you meant to get it all off, though? You took a little chunk out of the plastic. How? But plastic. look at it. It's coming off as a string. Is it not sugar? <laughs> it's plastic. It's melted in my mouth. You can eat it. It can't be sugar. It, it, Try it. No, thank you. Try I'm it? scared. <laughs> I don't like that it's wet. Cause we just you don't like that it's wet? It's frozen. I don't, I'm okay. <laughs> no. Not a fan? No. My issue is I have nothing to eat after if I try it, so no. It's plastic. <laughs> it melted in Jack's mouth though, it can't be. I think that you ate plastic, Jack. <laughs> You're right, I should be charging for this content. <laughs> There's someone in a car behind me. I know, it's staring. staring at I, me. I have a camera, of course they're going to be looking. It's a little bit like a cherry. A cherry? Like not a oh, that was the TikTok I saw. Yeah. They like caramelized the cherries and then froze yeah. them. Wait. That does look like plastic, babe, I'm not going to lie. 
it's not. Do you want to know? No, I'm honestly, I'm fine. Thank you, though. This is like toffee. So it's a bit tasty. Yeah, it like does look like toffee. Well. This is not the tongue I was expecting. I can't get it. Can't Ellie's get having it. a nightmare. Let's move on. <laughs> Oh no. No? It's so dry. You're not a fan. Dry? Hey, you tried it. Maybe you I've never heard of a dry fruit. Maybe you wait like five <laughs> minutes so that like melt a little bit. You were complaining about being wet a second ago. It does kind of feel like you're just eating like frozen ice. Frozen ice? It well, does not know, have any it's taste. Like it's just the texture mainly. But I think With if plastic. I think if it, Possibly. If you leave it to like melt for like a couple of minutes, it'll probably be a lot better. That's a Stop zero that. out of ten for me. Yeah? It's horrible. The sesame is like really savory. It's a polycrystalline rock sugar coat. It just says do not eat the bamboo stick inside. <laughs> Glucose syrup, food paper. It's just food paper. Oh, that makes more sense. You're allowed to eat it. What do you think? It's alright. Yeah? Probably be my go to, but it's alright. Yeah. I want to be so sticky because. Are you going to eat all of it? Yeah. Okay. Gonna Are you going to eat Ellie's? <laughs> Do you want mine? <laughs> it is now the next day. I'm in the kitchen really quickly because I forgot to show you. Jack made me cake for my autism birthday as well. So let me show you them. So he made me cookies, white chocolate cookies. And this is a sticky toffee pudding loaf cake, all right? Jesus and he's gonna gosh. make caramel sauce to go with it as well. So I got a birthday cake, courtesy of Jack. <laughs> right, let's go chat in, chat in the living room. So uh, we had a lovely meal. Well, the, the food was uh, the food was mid. It was okay. It was it wasn't the best, but it was lovely. Like it was a lovely meal, but not the food. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. It was lovely, and to be out for a meal with Ellie and Tom, because I think that's the first time we've all went out for a meal meal together. Yeah. Like we've been at each other's houses loads, and we've been out to cafes and stuff, and it was their first time appearing on the channel. Which feels really exciting because I've got friends <laughs> to show on the channel. I really appreciated them coming out. And then after we had some food, we ended up eating quite early, but it was all right. We were fine, weren't we? Because we just had that pizza slice for lunch, so it was fine. And then what, what time did we leave? Like half six-ish. Oh, maybe close to seven. Yeah, closer to seven. And then we headed to the Asian supermarket and Jack and Ellie tried those things that I showed you. What were they? Hawthorne, frozen Hawthorne sesame, sesame, sesame thing. Ellie was not a fan. Jack enjoyed his, but Ellie was not a fan. It went absolutely everywhere, all over Jack, didn't it, when they were melding. And then we headed back to the car and went back to this. And we left there about 10. Came back, watched the end, watched some of Treasure Planet, because we started that, and then went to bed. We were absolutely knackered. <laughs> We have grown into those people where if we have any plans through the day, once we get to bed, we are like, sleep now. We didn't even read with books. We were like flat out, so tired. So it was a really nice day. I really like, I, I'm with it, with like the autism birthday thing. I really try, I'm trying not to get caught up in the fact that I know people will be like, what the fuck do you mean? autism birthday oh my god why are you like celebrating that because i know there's people like that i have people in my family who are like that but i really enjoyed celebrating it and i feel very kind of like i feel very privileged that i can celebrate it i feel privileged for the fact that i got my diagnosis and i feel very privileged at the fact that i can like go out and have the capacity to celebrate it and try and feel positive about it but like I said at the beginning of this video so much has been took away from me from getting an autism diagnosis and obviously autism affects me every single day and it is a disability I am very much at a disadvantage to the majority of the population I feel like I deserve a little day <laughs> to celebrate being autistic and trying to see the positive in it because it's so easy to just see the negative in it when you are in it I feel like people who are like allies to autistic people and people who try to support autistic people sometimes don't understand how much it can affect you and even people who have it I think who are unpacking their masking and stuff I think a lot of people don't realize how much it is a disability and how much it affects me because obviously I am very high masking and the only person who really sees how I actually am is Jack and obviously Jack isn't going to talk about it for me, so it is a really, really 
hard disability and there is no tiptoeing around that because I have to live with it every single day of my life and I there's no stopping it there is no meds that can help there is nothing that can help apart from maybe therapy and that just isn't an option currently so I am very happy with the fact that I can have one day to just have a good day and what were you gonna say just acknowledge. and just acknowledge it yeah if you are autistic I feel like as well the thing is obviously this has come from having a diagnosis you don't need it to have a day to celebrate so if you haven't been diagnosed yet still you can still give yourself today and if you have been diagnosed consider celebrating your autism birthday I we keep changing the name of it there's yeah, the autism there's... birthday autism di uh, autism anniversary yeah, autism it's... diagnosis anniversary but it's not really your birthday because it's not the day that your autism was yeah I've yeah. always been autistic yeah. <laughs> but it just it sounds nice doesn't it but that is gonna be it I'm sorry if there wasn't much footage because like I say obviously like when I'm with people who like I haven't really had the conversation around YouTube with or things like that I don't really like to just whip out my camera and film I'm very grateful that they allowed me to film a little bit when we were out and stuff so I'm sorry if it kind of trailed off but I had a great day and I hope you enjoyed watching it if you did please make sure to leave the video a like comment subscribe if you are new it helps me grow my channel but even if you don't do any of that thank you so much for watching and I shall hopefully see you in another video shall bye bye bye